Last week, if you haven't seen it, I covered a situation that I noticed blowing up from this individual, Crystal Flame. Crystal here is a former admin of the Glitch Tail community server headed by Camilla Cuevas. If you don't know, she's a sizable channel with a big community following within the Undertale fandom. Yes, I know we're stepping into a minefield where many people will just watch this video for a little bit of time and not care for its contents. Those people are lost causes. This isn't like my previous videos where it's all fun and games. This video is going to contain serious and disturbing content that will demand true accountability by default. I said that I would prove that Camilla is a liar, and this video is going to objectively prove that. There's going to be a lot to cover here, so please tolerate the runtime. There has been a ton of misinformation spread by Camilla herself, and her cavalcade of defenders who don't know any better were trying so hard to defend her actions because they're that dumb. So this video's length is justifying the actual truth that Camilla doesn't want you to know. To outline this in the most presentable way possible, the Glitch Tail community server has had quite the amount of problems with predators on the administration team. Yes, I know, this is a shock that many predators fester in communities that have quite the amount of children in them. The Undertale community is no different, and everyone knows it. Pertaining to the Glitch Tail server itself, there have been two predators exposed for their degenerate actions towards children, one being a now former moderator for the server, that being Artie Chan, the other being the co-writer of Glitch Tail and Camilla's ex, Ver Toon. Both of them will be discussed at length, as well as the immoral actions of Camilla concerning their predatory behavior. Her two statements on Twitter will be picked apart point by point. Before we get to the main subject, I do have to make mention of the way that Camilla treats situations in a very inconsistent fashion. This is important for a point much later in the video, please bear with me. But to briefly go over something that I'm sure most of you know, Camilla was a part of the group of people who dogpiled Hopeless Peaches back in late 2020 through early 2021. On the surface level, we all know that everyone involved were either exaggerating claims or outright falsifying them to make Peaches look as bad as possible in the public eye. What people don't know was that in private, Camilla was very excited when lying sacks of shit like prison mate Luke made hit pieces on Peaches, as well as taking enjoyment from Peaches shutting down her accounts. The reason I mention this is because this is yet another example of someone who will say things in private, yet try to appear as a completely different person in public. Camilla was joyful, while this person went through shit that was completely unacceptable and has seemingly come out of the Peaches drama unscathed in comparison to the others. Prisonmate Luke and Creepshow Art's reputations were obliterated, while Camilla managed to slip past the backlash. However, as you all know, rather disturbing information has come out that has put Camilla on the forefront yet again, and there is a lot of bullshit surrounding it thanks to the misinformation that litters her statements on the matter. While I mentioned Artie Chan that was one of the predators, she is not referred to in any of these statements. Artie, for the most part, including others, is a separate matter all on its own other than being a moderator and Camilla downplaying her actions in private. We'll touch on her later, but now we need to focus on the actions of those predators. Crystal is going to outline a timeline to make this as understandable as possible concerning multiple people. After this, Artie will be covered, as well as the debunking of Camilla's public statements to prove once and for all that she is a masterful liar. If you're here to see Camilla's defenses be debunked specifically, please skip to this portion of the video. If not, the next few portions are simply covering bases so people understand fully what is going on. Thank you, Queen, for giving me a platform to speak. I cannot thank you enough. Okay, to begin with my experiences with Glitch Show as a whole, let's begin with Camilla. Camilla Quavis, a YouTuber best known as a creative glitch doll, and someone I used to consider a very close friend of mine, actively harboured a groomer within her official Discord server. V is someone who is known to prey on minors and it is completely unacceptable that she would have allowed him to be around children knowing full well of the actions he committed for years on end. I personally feel that Camila Quavis seems to care more about her public image than doing the simple act of following her moral compass by removing a groomer from her server. With this, it took me to personally make a post on her, on her lack of actions to protect minors by doing the simple act of banning a known predator. On top of this, I am truly disappointed that Camila lied to her public audience about her knowledge of Veer's sexual misconduct by stating on social media, and I quote, When I learned what Veer did, 
I was just as shocked as everyone else, end quote. It's clear from the evidence which I have provided that she was aware of the situation back in 2015, but she did nothing to prevent it from happening. This normalised its fears, behaviours within the Skype chat and it allowed him to be sexually abrasive towards minors within the Skype chats and on Discord. To note, there was a 5 month period in which fear was banned. The ban was meant to be permanent to my knowledge, but Camila decided to contact one of Veer's victim on what the next step should have been. Out of fear of what Veer would have done to said victim, they stated that Veer should be allowed back into the server. I believe that the victim in this case was showing signs of both fear and Stockholm Syndrome, and that the decision to allow Veer back into the server was a mistake to say the least. Camila Cuevas, as the owner of the server, should have never even asked a question to the victim and kept fear banned from day one. I find that it's worrying that Camila Cuevas said almost with pride within her public replies, and I quote, I let him back into the private channel in the Glitchdale Crew Discord, where his close friends were, which were at most 25 people. He didn't have permission to see General or any other part of the server, and he never would again, unquote. How Veer was restricted to two chats. A critical bit of information that she forgot to relay to her public audience is that 10 of these 25 people were below the age of 18 to my understanding. This indicates a lack of responsibility on her part and it's something that should be rightfully viewed with disapproval as this is by definition child endangerment. I find that it's even more upsetting that she would even attempt to downplay the seriousness of the situation in the past and the present. The past is where I came to her in a time of need about Veer's and Artie's actions of grooming. She blamed me as the victim and belittled my feeling on how serious this indeed was, simply because she didn't want to be seen as a negative light. With that all being said, let's move on to Veer's actions. Veer was once the co-writer slash co-owner of Glitchdale. From season 1 episode 2 to season 2 episode 9. He overlooked the Skype chat known as the well-developed FGTS, which contained 22 different members at the times, age ranging from 12 to 22 at the time. And he overlooked the official Discord server known as the Glitchtail Crew. He was also the one who made me a mod. During these years, Viz groomed, emotionally abused, sexually manipulated, and imitated many people, which included minors. Some of these stories I'm not allowed to talk about, as I still respect the people who wish not to be named and just wish to move past said events. With that, I am fully allowed to talk about my story, which I am doing now. Veer was fully aware of the power he had over the miners under his control. He was fully aware of his power dynamic and took full advantage of it for many years to no pushback from anyone, as it would bleed into his general narcissistic personality so no one batted an eye. As Skype clears messages, after 5 years, I lost a lot of proof, but I was able to salvage a few screenshots of the past. The 5th of the 10th, 2015. I was 13 years old when Fear got me into a chat with him and Camila as he needed a quote, wingman unquote, to help him get sexual images from Camila to cleanse his extreme sexual desires that he had to fight off literally every single day. Camila was fully aware of this chat as she was within the chat herself. I was truly disgusted by his request, but I felt so compelled to follow his wishes as she was the co-owner of Glitchdale and he made it feel so casual. I find it hard to believe that Camila Cuevas, who was Veer's partner at the time, didn't reprimand him for involving me, a 13 year old, in an attempt to pressure her to send him nudes. And it's even more shocking, she allowed him to continue to be a part of the Skype chat, with the majority of the moderators being minors, including one being as young as 12. I truly cannot wrap my head around it. Of the 5th, 2017, Veer was venting to me about how he was considering to end his own life. He would use the concept of suicide to gain sympathy from people around him. This was a common tactic that he used. I can tell from the screenshots that he sent me later on that he didn't care about the people around him. He would actively prey on 16 and 13 year old children to quote contain himself unquote. 
but even after he got what he wanted from them, he still felt nothing. Camila was unaware of this to my understanding at this point of time. The 4th of the 29th, 2019, Fear states that Orange from before, quote, had a crush on him, unquote, and how they used to do things in this context and send images to one another, that he confirms that he was aware that she was too young, quote, like she was 16, unquote, but tried to use age of consent within the UK to justify his actions when he was located within the US. And on top of all of this, he admits that he has seen this minor before, as well as one who was only 14 years old at the time. Camila Clavis was fully aware of Fear's relationship with at least one of these minors, and yet she did nothing to stop it. Fear states that he has, quote, seen most of the Glitchtail crew ladies, unquote, and starts describing the minor age 13 to 15 year old body as them having some badonkers and huge bazooka looks. It's appalling to me that he would describe a minor aged 13 to 15 in such a sexualized way and it's even worse that he seems to take some sadistic pride in it. Veer Toon has now been formally removed from all positions of power within the Glitchtail crew server and is no longer an active part of the community. Camila Cravis, Veer's former partner, has now banned him from the server. I'm glad to see that Veer has formally been banned from the Glitch Cell crew server, but sadly, this action only took effect after I was forced to call out Camila Cuevas publicly. To end off this segment in the video, I would personally like to see if Camila Cuevas is willing to learn from her mistakes in the past with her lack of action against groomers within her server. Polite Viking, also known as Simon, was a former admin for Camila Cuevas. He stepped down on his own regard. He owned a now deleted server, which was thankfully backed up by a good friend of mine known as Playtime with Kara. Within the server, many quote games were played, unquote. The most infamous of them all being Truth or Dare. Veer, Artie, and Simon took part in these games, which included many sexual acts against minors. This server allowed two known predators, Veer and Artie, to partake in reprehensible actions against minors which Simon overviewed and even encouraged by allowing these games to take place within his server and with the tone he spoke to minors in. Of all these freaks in one place, I feel it was borderlining on a pedophile thing. This server had at least 20 minors within it. That's giving it a huge benefit of the doubt. I will present screenshots below of the evidence of how Simon spoke to minors in public channels. If any of the mod squad and or Camila would like more evidence of Simon's actions, I'll be working on a separate document to deal with every action within the Playtime with Kara server. I just feel that you should be informed so you can take action against Simon sooner than later. Now I have to preface this by clarifying that Camilla was aware that Artie was grooming Crystal, who was 15 at the time while Artie was 18. When Crystal spoke up about this, Camilla was dismissive of what was blatantly right in front of her, saying, I mean, even though she was 19 there, she's technically a child, to me at least. In the UK, it's 18 over here. Her mental maturity doesn't exactly represent her age, I've noticed. Artie wasn't even banned for her actions with Crystal. She was banned for other reasons, mainly because she made a degenerate server where she was, to say the least, a sick fuck to kids. More on that later. Obviously, Artie should have been banned before this, but for some strange reason, Camilla decided to not act until Artie was outed later on. Because of this, we're going to mainly focus on the actions of Artie, as they are not well known to the public. This section is to show that Artie is a danger to children, and everyone should be made aware of it. What did Artie do? Well, thankfully I don't have to show much, as we had a call in the Senate with her. In this call, Artie admitted to several things, such as receiving child pornography. Crystal has been in a hundred something therapy sessions. Crystal also currently has a child. So if there was child pornography being compiled onto Crystal's com computer that was not their own, because they sent them to you by your requests, and do not lie to me and tell me it wasn't, because I also have that entire chat log. I have seen more than enough. No, it wasn't yeah. stuff from me. It was, they did that on their own, like, will. I know they, they did it on their own will, but they also did it by your request. 
Ain't don't lie to me. I don't care if it's in the past. I don't care if it's in the past. What part of I don't care in the past? Did you not understand the first time? Do I need to say it in Espanol? Or how about no, Japanese? Would Nihongo work? I didn't ask them to send look for things in the dark web, and I have proof of them. I never said things. you asked them things for, for from things from the dark web. I said you asked them for nudes. Well, they asked me for nudes too, and I felt like you were an adult. Thing. You were an adult. You were an adult. You were an adult. An adult. The kid asked me for nudes is not a defense. Do you actually think it is? Oh wait, you're in Camilla's server. Of course you think it is, because they're just as I'm dumb not, as everybody else. I'm not in her server. You were in her server. Were past tense. You were in her server, so of course you think that's an excuse. I am 37 years old. That does not fly with me. Ever. Yeah. Under any circumstances. If a kid walks up to me and asks for nudes, my answer is, you know where are your parents. And then I get a hold of the parents and tell them what the kid's doing. Yours was to give the nudes and then request other nudes from said child. Right? I did not say you requested Crystal to go into the dark web to find them. I said you asked Crystal for their nudes. Didn't you? We both asked each other for Andrews. Thank you, but I also know you're still trying to frame it as though you're equally guilty. You were an adult. Yeah, Crystal dicked up by giving you stuff they shouldn't have. Crystal's parents should have kept a better eye on them, and Crystal should have had the wherewithal to not interact with an adult at that level, but children can't consent. You were an adult! And admitted to grooming at least three other children. Four, including, yeah, four minors while you were an adult. I was the only one who spoke up about that. And I don't, and I'm going to ask you about this, Artie, because I don't care whether they speak up or not, because you're here. Mm -hmm. Why? Why did I do it? Yep, that is the question. I don't know, but my intention was not to hurt them. But you admit that you were with four minors, Crystal included. It wasn't really a relationship, and I was more sleep pressured to be dating with them. I mentioned a degenerate server that already operated, which is heavily detailed in this document that I will leave in the description. Artie took pleasure in having minors draw porn for her, talk to a 13-year-old about how good the minor's sex drive was, and just being a sick fuck in general. She really didn't want people knowing about this server either, instructing people to not talk about its existence, but of course she was eventually outed. So with all of that, my question to Camilla would be, why did you not ban Artie when you knew about the actions she committed against Crystal? Is it really because you think she's a child in your eyes because of her mental maturity? Or is it because when Artie was exposed for her server with minors, it was a more convenient time for you to throw her out of your server, Camilla? Very good questions to ask, but I don't believe we'll get the answer anytime soon. With Camilla's statements, I will read them out before I respond to the defenses, as that's only fair. However, you're going to quickly notice that with these statements that Camilla provides, she seems to lack the evidence to support many of her claims. At face value, yes, she is on defense here, as she is the one being accused of things. However, taking everything at face value, especially with a situation as delicate as this one, is a really, really bad idea, as I'm going to show. She starts off by saying this, Hi. There's some things that aren't true here, I'm just going to say a timeline of what happened and why I made the decisions I did. When I learned what Veer did, I was just as shocked as everyone else. The first thing I did was ban him from the server and lend my full support to the victims and ask exactly how they wanted to deal with the situation. Now there's nothing wrong here inherently, except for the fact that Camilla claims to fully support Veer's victims. Crystal is a victim of Veer as you already know. Camilla doesn't tell everyone the fact that she's been knowledgeable of Veer's degeneracy towards kids for quite some time. In the DMs with Crystal, she acknowledges the existence of these years-old Skype chats where Veer was saying disgusting things to kids, and her response was a little yikes on bikes. Yeah, him talking dumb crap about this was indeed in poor taste. He's changed drastically since then, and he completely stopped mentioning anything remotely sexual. As soon as she changed to Discord, the years you were gone changed him for the good, and all those convos are things he deeply regrets doing and knows were stupid and in poor taste. But what's done is done, and can't be undone. Later in the conversation, Camilla does bring up a good point that Crystal should not bring another one of Veer's victims' experiences into the light. 
which is completely fair as it is not Crystal's business. Crystal also agrees with this statement. However, Camilla at the same time does not take Crystal's concerns as seriously as she should, going as far as saying that Vera is an idiot and not a sexual predator. I don't know about you guys, but the fact that Camilla didn't kick Veer to the curb the moment she found out what he was doing doesn't sound very supportive to me. Not only this, when Crystal was also groomed by Artie, this was Camilla's response. You both were toxic, you both made mistakes, don't pin this on her alone. And mind you, I'm not defending her, she's made other people uncomfortable with the way she is, and I've called her out for it. This isn't a one-sided issue, but if you're in your right to feel like you need some sort of retribution, my advice would be to talk to her- what the fuck? Talk to the, the person that groomed Crystal? What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, that doesn't sound very supportive, does it? Blaming a literal child for being groomed, but let's move on. In the next five months to this, I privately told Veer to seek professional help. For him, that time was spent owning up to what he had done and making the decision to become a better person, only after he proved to me that he made an effort to better himself by apologizing to those he hurt, owning up to what he did, get professional treatment, etc. I let him back into a private channel in GTC Discord where his close friends were, which were at most 25 people. He didn't have permissions to see General or any other part of the server, and he never would again. No matter how much he changed, I had no plans to let him interact with the GT community again. His ban never ended. Now, besides the fact that people contest that Veer actually did have access to the rest of the server for a period of time, let's go into this on a surface level first. The second Camilla was aware of Veer's actions, she should have dropped him. Period. Someone doesn't get to come back into a community after preying on multiple children for years with evidence to back it up. If I, for example, treated Vita the same way as Camilla treated Veer, I would get burned and I would 100% deserve it. But when Camilla does it, all of a sudden her fanbase full of gullible children, mind you, aren't going to realize how fucked up Camilla's statement here truly is. All of this coincides with this piece of evidence that was thankfully gathered by others, showing that this private channel she's referring to had minors in it. So even Camilla's excuse falls flat. Camilla let a child predator that she knew was a child predator back into her circle and did not give a single fuck. I did not let him back to that private channel to sweep things under the rug or try to pretend things were normal. They would never be normal again after what happened. I just believe that people should be able to get a piece of their life back if they want to right their wrongs and become a better person. People need friends to get them through dark times, and his friends were in that private channel separated from the rest of the community. Now, again, I don't need to tell you all that letting a known child predator back into one of your spaces is a bad idea, but we are going to unironically go down the route that he was in a dark place, guys. The child predator was in a dark place. Unbelievable. Also, I want to make it clear that Crystal's ban was unrelated to how they were treating the mod team, and it's completely unrelated to Vare's mess. This, from what I've seen, is a blatant lie, which can be proven by this message from a moderator when Crystal was banned, clearly stating, I do want to apologize for whatever the hell I did back in 2021, because if I recall correctly, I was told to ban you because you accused Vare of very serious things. Not only that, but another moderator attested to these claims as well. Um, you know, I know the reason I was banned. You know that, as I can quote Blair, yes. um, that I was banned for saying, and I quote, um, vile stuff about fear. That's the oh. reason what we said in the mod chant. That's that was what Blair was told. Said. Yes. And Cami has stated publicly twice now that is not the reason she is lying publicly with a massive audience to downplay everything i faced so i'm happy that you can confirm that that a moderator for camila can now confirm that that is true yeah if you really attest to crystal being toxic towards the mod team Please be sure to provide proof, Camilla, because I'm sure you have it. I'm sure you have it. If I was worried about my public image, I would have made a video and publicly separated myself from everyone involved. Instead, I handled things privately for the sake of the victims. I knew that it risked looking bad if it was taken out of context, but I cared more about their privacy than my image. 
I do want to say sorry to Crystal for seeming uninterested. My poor English makes it hard for me to come across the right way sometimes. I was frustrated with being asked about Vera for weeks. I should have been more patient with you, and I really wasn't trying to minimize your feelings or invalidate in any way the way that you or anyone else was hurt. Yeah, considering that Camilla's statement here is as bad as it already is, I don't believe a word of what she says here, and this won't be the first time that Camilla uses poor English skills as a shield. Camilla is proficient in English and has been able to hold conversations with other people for a while now. We're talking years, including streaming on her channel where she shows a proficient level of English. I even went out of my way to ask a trusted friend of mine who was also a native Spanish speaker just to double check what her judgment was. The judgment is based on the fact that while people who are proficient in speaking a second language will struggle, Camilla knows right from wrong. It's very frustrating that people are buying into this. You can't tell me that Camilla doesn't know what sexual predation is in Spanish, among other words, in relation to this situation. But let's move on to statement number two. And trust me, this is gonna get really fucking bad. I wasn't going to address the false accusations involving me because I respect that there is a victim who has an awful time every time someone brings this issue to the spotlight again. I also know how people have attacked me not because of my actions, but by picking through my wording and assuming the worst intentions possible, and a statement like this has a lot of words. Yes, there is another victim of Veer's actions who doesn't like what's going on right now. However, that does not invalidate how Crystal has every right to speak about what they went through, and how you, Camilla, treated them. People have criticized you for the absolute travesty that was your first statement. Your words were not picked through. You put those words out yourself, provided no proof for your defense, and lied to your impressionable audience. Not only that, but you were also criticized by people who weren't happy when you referred to the situation as drama. Situations involving child predation are not drama. But you'll sit here and play victim without recognizing why people have a problem with what you've done. I know very well who I am and what I stand for. Respect and justice are what I believe in, which is why I never protect or validate any form of crime. Not even when the aggressor is someone close to me. I want to make it clear that I have never participated and never will in any behavior that goes against my values. I did not defend a groomer, and I never supported his actions. Camilla, you are objectively on record of defending Veer. You tried to tell Crystal that he was not a sexual predator, but just an idiot. You fucking defended him, you fucking liar. You knew that Ver was a sick degenerate years ago, and have acknowledged that these actions occurred, and you defended him. Not only that, when you let Ver back into the server under this private channel you mentioned, this channel had minors. You say that you don't want to validate the crimes of Ver, yet put a known child predator in a chat full of children. So, Camilla, if your values are as good as you say they are, why did you continue to interact with Veer knowing how he was around kids? This is not the first time this issue came to light, but it is the first time it came out with the intent to twist the truth and hurt the wrong people. The first thread Crystal made about this came out with that intention. One of the victims who did not want their name spread publicly felt forced to make a public statement after Crystal's thread leaked their personal and private information in a document that has been deleted. This victim, who prefers to stay anonymous, has been badly upset and negatively affected by Crystal's thread targeting me. She declares in her statement that they've had my full and unconditional support since day one. Now, casting aside the first sentence and the fact that the other victim's information was already exposed beforehand, what Camilla here is saying is true. Crystal did make a big mistake in including evidence that exposed information about one of Vare's victims. This was a bad move, and no one will deny that. However, the reason why Camilla wants to point this out is because this is a classic example of a genetic fallacy. While Crystal 100% made this critical error, Camilla goes hard on this part because she can use it to make Crystal look bad and invalidate the rest of their evidence. Thankfully, I'm pretty sure most reasonable people realize that just because Crystal fucked up on one area does not invalidate their evidence about you, Camilla. Crystal also had my full support, which is a... Uh... Yeah, we know that's a fucking lie. Their accusations in their thread, claiming to be punished with a ban from our server for coming out with the truth, are completely false. 
Shortly after this issue first surfaced, their behavior became incredibly toxic towards the moderation team over things completely unrelated to what happened. The team members were Crystal's friends, and they eventually were pushed to block, then ban them from the server for general toxic behavior towards the community. Even so, them telling the truth is how I learned what was going on, and the reason why the abuser was banned from the server in 2021. You know, Camilla, you really want to drive home the point that Crystal was being toxic towards the other staff members, and it totally had nothing to do with Vare despite the evidence to the contrary. So if that's the case, why aren't you showing us that? It should be pretty open and shut if you're so confident in this claim, go ahead and show it. And once again, you knew what Vare was up to, this is undeniable. You banned him the first time in 2021, yet did not cast him aside when he was doing all the shit beforehand. Oh, but I'm sure you have a strong value system for respect and justice, I'm sure of it. What saddens me more is that this problem is not and never was about me. Yes, it fucking is. Yet Crystal's video is centered around me, using my name in the title. They claimed on Twitter that it was never their intention to hurt Kami, but it feels very ill-intended despite what they say, when at the same time they blamed me with unreasonable or even impossible demands. Not meant for honesty, but for riling up anyone watching. They were angry at me for not contacting authorities in the USA, when that choice must be taken by the victims. No, 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 no. The victims were kids. The victims were kids! Oh my fucking god! Even more, I'm thousands of kilometers away in a different country. They also accused me of defending the abuser, which you did, and ignoring his crime when they knew. This was already denied by another victim when I first learned about what had happened by the victim's own words. I gave them my full support and decided to ban the abuser and take away every position of power he had in my community. Every decision made after that, I consulted with the victim first, and we acted upon what was agreed upon. Yes, this is a problem with you, Camilla. Can we stop lying about you not having a play in this? There is clear as day evidence pointing to the contrary, including your previous statement where you admit that you let a child predator back into your server, while leaving out the details that the chat contained minors. I'm getting really sick and tired of Camilla's bullshit, if you all couldn't tell. And concerning Camilla not being able to contact the authorities, Camilla, I know you're really dumb, but pay attention. You wield a lot of influence. You have a big number. There are countless ways you could have reached out to other people in the United States so you can report Veer to the best of your ability. You made a conscious decision to not report Veer despite having countless methods and resources to do so. You want to know how I know that for a fact? Because Lyo was able to get a hold of both Veer and Artie's information to report them to the authorities. Now, they live in the UK. Different matter altogether. You and I don't. I live in Texas. You live in... Guess what? doesn't must master for doxing there either. But you know what your actions possibly muster for? Solicitation of child porn, possession of child porn, possibly with intent to distribute, depending on how many pictures you had on your PC at any given time. And now you've admitted to all of this nonsense. You scrubbed it because you know somebody can call the cops on you. Which is, which for the record is what's going to happen. Which took less than a day. Veer and Artie try to desperately scrub their personal information from the internet, but of course nothing escapes Lyo, as my dear audience knows well. If someone wants justice, they go directly against the abuser. That wasn't what happened though, because my name and work have been made the focus in the titles and comments of all the videos made about this issue up until now. Wow, Camilla, I didn't know that letting a child predator back in your Discord server doesn't deserve scrutiny. Good to know! Oh yeah, speaking of putting names in the title, there was a reason why I mentioned Camilla's involvement when it came to the dogpiling of Hopeless Peaches. When it was Peaches who was getting her name dragged through the mud by scumbags like prison mate Luke, she was so excited to be a part of the action. But when she starts to get dragged through the mud for something that's actually abhorrent, all of a sudden Camilla has to cry us a river. To the people looking to reduce this situation to content, I implore you to have sensitivity and empathy when talking about this issue. Like I've said, the victim who has always preferred to stay anonymous is having a terrible time because Crystal keeps reviving this issue even months after making it public already, not even bothering to censor her name again in a comment that has been deleted. Once again, 
Camilla is using a genetic fallacy to invalidate what Crystal has been trying to speak up about. I know I should have said this by now, but you are absolutely fucking disgusting, Camilla. Their mistake does not invalidate their evidence against you. Even though the abuser has been banned and there is nothing more I can do, I know there will be more videos of absurd accusations. They will open more wounds and cause more suffering to those trying to move forward. And it's because the accusations are false that I refuse to use my channel to give the creators of these claims the audience they want most. That's why I'm using social media to clarify the situation. Great job playing the victim, Camilla, and showing everyone that you don't want to admit that you've been lying this whole time. When this information first dropped, you should have come clean. Yes, people still would have been furious with you, but you made the choice to non-stop lie about Crystal, your ex-predator boyfriend, and your inability to deal with anything. This is all you're doing when this could have been avoided easily from the very beginning by telling the truth. A YouTuber contacted me claiming to want to learn about my side of the story and strangely asked to do it, only in voice chat. Due to my primary language being Spanish, I asked to do it through text. Next, this person said that if it wasn't through voice chat, then they weren't willing to have a conversation at all. They added that they had enough information about me already and didn't need anything more, meaning that they never wanted my side of the story after all. It seemed very ill-intended on their part, and it saddens me that channels like that will probably cover this issue with misinformation while hurting the wrong people in the process. Now, this is a great time to point out who this YouTuber is. Camilla is referring to a conversation with Hopeless Peaches, who wanted to reach out to her due to the situation increasing in severity. I will read the entirety of this exchange just so everyone knows what actually happened. Hey, I'd like to ask you again if you can call about this. You can tell me and my friend covering this your side in full, or we'll have to go off what you've already posted. Children have been preyed upon, and we can't just have you texting and freezing up. Like I mentioned yesterday, it'd be better if I could type it out. It helps me to articulate my sentences better, and help myself with a translator if I need it to. I think we got plenty of time to talk about it via text, plus I feel much more comfortable this way. I'm tired of you, your staff, and every defender you've had hide behind text. At this point, it becomes clear to me that you care more about how you're perceived than the fact children got abused. You want this to be all about you. Just like when you told Crystal your main problem was that Vair made a fool of you, not that he was sexual with a child. You will either get in call, or this conversation ends here. I'm tired of alleged adults not being able to handle confrontation about their own actions. I believe that what Veer did was horrible and disgusting, and I don't stand by it. My priority was to always side with the victims. The example you're using regarding Crystal's thread of me saying I was made a fool of was me explaining how upset I was about nobody ever telling me about this issue all this time when I could have done something earlier. It happened six years ago and all my friends never told me about it until a year ago when I learned it from one of the victims being brave enough to speak to me about it. I've never had any involvement in what he did and I wish I had banned him sooner. Looking back at it with a cool head of course, I wish I could have done better. But under all the pressure, not only from this, from IRL issues, I made mistakes. He's banned now, and something like that will never happen again. I was 100% willing to talk to you via text as I articulate my words better this way and talk to you on even ground. I'm saddened to hear that you'd prefer to not have both sides to a story that's been twisted and directed at people that did not want to be involved in the first place. That is blatantly untrue. I have seen your communications with Crystal regarding both Fear and Artie, and you shamed Crystal on both situations. If you cared about the victims of abuse, you would not have let Vera into the server and gave him access to 24 people, including minors. At least one, to my knowledge, already being his victim. You said you would not have cared if Vair dated the whole mod squad, a crew including minors. Thank you for your time. I've seen other written responses you have made. I don't need more. The reason why Peaches said she had enough information about you is because you lied to her. Peaches at this point was aware of the mountain of evidence against you and wasn't going to take your bullshit. You, Camilla, have been desperate to hide behind walls of text where you've been lying and gaslighting your impressionable young audience and have the gall to use the no oblo ingles card despite speaking English on streams and Discord for years at this point. Camilla later on was even offered the opportunity to talk to Spanish translators and turned it down because she was apparently sick. Camilla, you were given an opportunity to come clean to Peaches because everyone with a brain knows that you've said horrible things to Crystal and how you treat child predators, but you'll sit here and completely misrepresent the entire conversation to save your own ass. 
I won't be addressing this topic again. The abuser is banned and won't be associated with Glitchtail any longer. I've done everything that I can to help to the future videos people might make on this. This is something extremely delicate to just be carelessly exposing to the public, where the truth gets lost and people use mob mentality on purpose as their weapon. The people involved have had an awful time having their pain thrown into the spotlight again and again. And such videos only succeed in forcing them to relive their trauma in exchange for views on YouTube. I do not need to support that kind of motive on my channel. Let me go ahead and reiterate here. Crystal is a victim of both Veer and Artie. Crystal can talk about their experience however the fuck they please. There is a mountain of evidence against you, and you have 100% failed to disprove it. You have used the other victim's trauma as a shield, instead of addressing many of the things that you have objectively done. You have failed to take accountability for the fact that you enabled the actions of predators like Veer by constantly putting him in environments filled with children. And with the last words of your second statement, you pull the crybaby fit because you know what's coming. You managed to slip past the fact that you dogpiled hopeless peaches and cooperated with a scumbag. But this is something that you absolutely can't move on from, Camilla. This is going to haunt you for the rest of your time. To wrap this up, I'll make this quick. Camilla, you've done some very terrible things, and the fact that you continued to lie non-stop confirms what Crystal has been saying about you this whole time. You covered your tracks to protect your own image, you've enabled child predators in your circles, and shamed a victim of those predators, and have consistently lied about the whole thing. Your own mother has been fighting people on Twitter and making excuses for you, including the countless people from your stupid server desperately trying to put up a defense because they worship you as if you've done nothing wrong, because you lied to them. Your Discord server should be gone, period. You have failed to protect the people you claim to care about and are willing to lie to come out on top. I will not stand for any of this, and I hope you meet proper punishment for the sins that you have committed. Dumb cunt.